Ocio Tejo, this is Fiber Grey Wolf recording from American Indian Independent Broadcasting Network. Today I am in a Taino Rito in the Bronx and I ran into a very famous young Taino brother who is a percussionist. His name is William Reyes. Am I pronouncing that right? Yep. <laughs> okay, William, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, my family is, my ancestors are from Puerto Rico. I was born and raised in Dumont, New Jersey. Uh, grew up uh, there and then I wound up living in uh, Brooklyn for the last 10, 11 years. Um, I work as a solo percussionist and I do like rainforest music improvisation. Wonderful. Yeah, I mix uh, Native American with Asian, particularly Southeast Asian, like Indonesian and uh, African rhythms. Africa music. How long have you been playing? I've been a percussionist since I was 10 years old. Wow. So I'd say over 20 years. Over 20 years. Um, your music, uh, you said, is a combination. Is that considered world music? There's a Yeah, definition. world music, you know, it's world music, also just improvisational music. I work with a lot of jazz musicians, African American jazz musicians. Um, and then, uh, you know, I work with Jay, Jay Rodriguez. He's a pretty famous Colombian uh, horn player. He plays uh, tenor sax and woodwinds. And I work with this uh, famous percussionist from Senegal, Abdul Moop, sometimes. Otherwise, I perform solo. Solo. My 12 tongue log drum setup. You were a Taino Award winner of the year 2012. Yes. Can you tell me um, what category that you won? Yeah, Musician of the Year, and I think it was 2011. 2011. I'm not sure if I forget. Uh, <laughs> what are your future plans, William? Well, right now what I'm trying to do is network with all the Tainos that are trying to do the uh, revival of the culture and uh, just trying to like iron out all the, the creased edges and smooth things out so that I have a connection with uh, the whole community. The whole community. Are you hoping to... Um, I didn't mean to cut you off. Are you okay. hoping to combine uh, music as well? Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking for the for some of the the most serious uh, culture people and and uh, working with them, trying to uh, put together maybe a project in the future. But at the same token, just reaching out and connecting with all the Tainos, all the way out to uh, to um, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, here in in the U.S. as well as uh, the Greater Antilles. Because there's Tainos all the way out there. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, how do you think it is for indigenous musicians here on the East Coast? I think it's 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 uh, it's okay. I think it's a matter of how you present yourself. You know, traditional stuff is it's very attractive to tourists, but it's also very attractive to the people of the culture. What I do is modern music. And uh, similar to William Cepeda from Puerto Rico, where he presents bomba in a, in a modern way, he orchestrates it. So I kind of trying to do that with, with uh, the Maya Wakan and the, uh, the 12-tone log drum and just uh, percussive rainforest types of sounds in general. I'm trying to like orchestrate it in a way that's more modern and, and uh, so it, it's less chanting because for people of other communities, chanting kind of scares them. They're not sure what it means. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is present more instrumental Taino rainforest vibration musically, you know? Now that instrument, percussionist instrument that you play, I've never seen that before in my life. Yeah, that's the 12 tongue log drum. I actually have it with me. You have it with you? Yeah. Oh, it'd be nice if you could play some music. <laughs> I can play a little something if you want. Okay, folks, we'll be right back and let William um, get his Tongue drum, tongue drum. Tum drum. Right, okay. like the tongue in your mouth. Tongue drum. Tongue drum. Okay, we'll <laughs> be right back.